take a look. We're here at an Irish pub in Boston. It's the night before St. Patrick's Day, but taking a look, you would think it's St. Patrick's Day right now. People here are excited. They're getting a head start ahead of tomorrow after what's been a tough two years. St. Patrick's Day is back. And there's lots to toast to this year. We were supposed to come here in 2020. The week before, we had to cancel because, as you know, everything closed down. And so here we are now, two years later, bringing the same group back here. At the Black Rose in Boston. We expect just to hit the, hit the ground running and don't stop until it's over. The day will start early with a traditional Irish breakfast and go on from there with different bands playing throughout the day. The last two St. Patrick's Days were like, you know, nothing happening. We're, I'm playing in my front yard for our neighbors. You know, that, that's what St. Patrick's Day was. That's Frank Ryan. He's played at the Black Rose for 30 years. I'm delighted that everything is finally turning around. From old traditions to new ones. Looking forward to spending St. Patrick's Day in Boston. I've never done it, so it'll be a hoot. No doubt, everyone here is pumped. We get, you know, 30, 40 phone calls an hour about St. Patrick's Day. Um, it, it's pretty exciting. So the doors open here at the Black Rose at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and like you heard the manager say, they're going to go until the party's over. We're live in Boston. Nathalie Pozo, WCBB News Center 5.